I suffered from horrible acne throughout my teens into my early 20s. Because of this, I would consider myself an ugly duckling. Most of my life, I wasn't really attractive. Then after my skin cleared up and I had orthodontic surgery, my appearance improved drastically. On one hand, I am thankful that Accutane cleared up my skin for a period of time. On the other, I wish I had discovered the carnivore diet. Despite taking Accutane for two rounds at a fairly high dose, my acne still came back. The only thing that truly solved it was the carnivore diet, a diet high in quality animal foods. Ever since I took Accutane, I have been unable to digest plant foods, carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables in general, rice, bread, whatever it is, it goes right through me. My eyes are so dry, I had to actually get LASIK eye surgery because I couldn't wear contacts anymore. My lips are really dry as well. Uh, that's one of the reasons I made a lip balm that I sell on Frankie's Naturals. I literally have to wear lip balm all day, every single day, 24-7. Uh, my testosterone is also low. Uh, that is reported as a side effect of taking Accutane. I've also had much less energy since before but I never had my levels tested uh, when I was younger, so I can't really say for certain that my testosterone went down, but it is a safe assumption. This is what actually led to me discovering a ketogenic carnivore diet as I was trying to fix my energy levels and digestion. The reason for this is because of vitamin A, retinol. The form of vitamin A in Accutane is synthetic, known as isotretinoin. Retinoids are a class of chemical compounds that are vitamin A or chemically related to it. The natural form of retinol when consumed in animal foods like liver is converted into retinol palmitate and stored in fat cells. It is a very regulated process. I've experimented with retinol palmitate supplements before and they make me break out like crazy. So I'm led to believe taking any synthetic non-food derivatives of vitamin A is not what our body is meant to handle. Also, the liver metabolizes retinol from foods into retinoids in different amounts. So taking unnaturally large amounts of synthetic versions and getting sick is not surprising. Each of these retinoids have different functions in the body, regulating genes, and having large amounts of one would cause irregularities in your genes that can result in inflammation, tissue damage, the common ailments we see from Accutane survivors. On the topic of vitamin A toxicity, it can only be achieved from these synthetic derivatives of vitamin A. You cannot overdose on vitamin A from natural foods, even liver. But these laboratory chemicals are a different story and cause liver failure in large doses over long periods of time. Speaking of the liver, this drug is so dangerous and taxing on the liver, you are not permitted to drink alcohol while using it. Also worth mentioning, you can have children, whether impregnating a woman or a woman getting pregnant, there are severe birth defects that will occur because of the altering in the gene expression as these retinoids are doing God knows what in our body. There are so many stories online of people getting inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, developing food allergies. I remember being able to eat eggs and dairy without any of the issues I've been having now. Unfortunately, there are an overwhelming amount of positive stories about Accutane as well. People being so happy that their skin is clear. So if you're trying to find contradictory evidence to taking Accutane, it's really just 90% of the people saying, oh, I'm so happy it cleared up my skin. And then there's like 10% of the people who are saying they have these really severe health issues, but you have a bunch of naysayers in the comments going like, oh, well, that's never been linked to Accutane. There's no truth. There have been class action lawsuits with Accutane that were dismissed recently because there wasn't enough science proving that Accutane causes these damages, aka a bunch of evil crooked demons that want to bathe in gold don't want to give us an inch. I want it to be clear that because of this drug, many of my allergies, intolerances, and diet experiences are very extreme. Without having taken this drug, I would have probably never started my health journey. On the other hand, 
I would have been a happier person and I would have been functioning like a more normal human being. You know, so I've built up a YouTube channel. I've helped the health of thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I've learned a lot myself and I'm very proud of what I've accomplished. But all of this is really a result of the modern pharmaceutical system not having solutions. If I knew what I know now, I could have definitely fixed my acne, you know, 10 years ago, and I wouldn't have had to damage my stomach permanently because of it. And it puzzles me because I've made videos on acne demonstrating and showing that you can literally clear up your skin in a matter of days doing certain things like consuming liver, hydrating really well, getting some sun, taking iodine that no one else is really showing online. I've even had people in person that told me they were going to take Accutane and I warned them, listen, don't take Accutane, follow this diet for a few weeks, but you know, they appeal to the authority of the dermatologist of the medical system and decide to take the drug. Hopefully this gets the message out more about how damaging Accutane can be. And most importantly, Check out my acne videos that I've done in the past. I think I've done three about how to actually fix your acne. People need to know that if you remove allergens, if you consume high quality animal foods, if you fix your nutrient deficiencies, get some sun and stay hydrated, anyone can fix their acne. Thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at the most affordable price. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals. As I said, we have the lip balm, uh, we have aluminum free deodorant, fluoride free tooth powder, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys. If you'd like to reach out for one-on-one -on -one consultations, send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com.